those young hair party pig dogs, and it's a wonderful Wednesday. And what are we doing? We're shopping. We're shopping for player props. That's what we do here at Pick Dogs. I'm going to be looking at all the NBA games that's going on today. Then I'm going to slide on over to the NHL and give you guys my best player prop to get on top. But before we do that, let me know. What are you guys betting on today? What's your guys' best bet to get us paid for the chat? Hey, you guys got a two-team parlay? Let us know in the comments below. Now, look, this is how the show goes. I come up with my player props, then I head on over to the sports chat, place betting tools, and I see if they're with me or against me. If they're with me, they're either hitting these bets at a 60% clip, 80% clip, all the way up to 100% clip. And if they're against me, they're just on the other side. All right, now let's go ahead and get it started, man. The first game that I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to be talking about the Memphis Grizzlies taking on the Golden State Warriors, okay? Usually, whenever these two teams are playing, you know, you're always going to have a fast-paced game because you got Ja Morant out there. Breaking news. No Ja Morant. Not breaking news. Let's get it started. I'm taking Desmond Bain. I'm taking him over 23 points, okay? I really like this player prop. Last game out, he came out against the Sacramento Kings. His point prop was at 22. I think he had like 24 or 25. This is the thing though. Um, in overtime when they went, that team didn't even score more than four points. Uh, so he ended the game, I think, with like 24 or 25 points. In here, I really like his player prop against the Golden State Warriors, a team that's going to challenge that player on that other team, the star player, to put up points. I'm taking Desmond Bain over 23 points, okay? It's me versus the Ben Tours on that one. Player prop number two, same game, same team. I'm taking Jaron Jackson. I'm taking him over 20 points, okay? Yeah, man, I really like big guys whenever they play against the Golden State Warriors, big guys who like to score too. Um, And he's not just a big guy that likes to score down low. He usually pops out a few threes in a game. Um, So look for him to even go over one and a half threes if you guys want to play that as well. But I'm taking Jaron Jackson over his point prop at 20 and a half points that's player prop number two okay player prop number three let's talk about the miami heat 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 all right bam out of bio over 18 and a half points he's been hitting this prop at a 60 percent clip three out of his last five times if you guys played this prop you came out on top so i'm taking him on that one Player prop number two, I'm taking them over 11 and a half rebounds, man. I really like both of these player props, and I think both of them should be able to hit. Bama Bio, he's been putting up consistent numbers for the Miami Heat this year. Uh, he's been the most consistent player out there. Jimmy Butler really hasn't showed up yet, but we know he does in the second part of the season right when it's playoff times. But Bama Bio has been holding it down for him. No Tyler Hero, traded Kyle Lowry. Uh, the rookie's been showing up good too as well, but right now the Heat go as Bama Bio goes, okay? All right, player prop number four. I'm going to be looking at the Philadelphia 76ers. I'm taking my guy, Tyrese Maxey. He's taking on the Phoenix Suns, okay? His point prop is at 28 and a half. It's hitting at a 60% clip. The bookmakers are going with me in the green because they like this one going over too, hitting it at three out of his last five times. Playing up against a Phoenix Suns team like that, Man, this is a guy who don't know how to pass the ball. Like, literally, man. Like, so I got Tyrese Maxey going for 34 in this game. All right. Player prop number five. Same game, different team. I'm looking at Bradley Bill. I'm taking him over his point prop at 17 and a half points. He's been able to hit this at an 80% clip. Four out of his last five times, if you guys Brett Bradley Bill's point prop, you came out on top. Now, you know the story with the Phoenix Suns. Kevin Durant's going to do what he's going to do. Booker's going to do what he's been doing for him. But that new addition is Bradley Bill. And if he could go out there and give this team a consistent 20 points to 27 points a game, that's what they need. Everybody's talking about a big three of this or that, comparing them to other teams. I don't see no big three. I see two players out here, and that's Devin Booker and Kevin Durant. Bradley Bill's turning into like a six-man. Hear me out. Is Malik Monk? Doing better numbers than Bradley Bill as a six man off the bench. All right, but whatever, man. I think Bradley Bill is going to go over 17 and a half points. That's why we're taking him in this game. Taking on the Philadelphia 76ers, okay? Bradley Bill, 17 and a half, book it. All right, next player prop that I like. I'm going to be looking at the feet. No, the Portland Trailblazers, man. Taking on the Los Angeles Clippers. Who are we betting in this one? Man, this guy's been hot on the prop shop. Let's go ahead and take it. DeAndre Ayton. I'm taking him over 28 and a half. 20 and a... I'm taking him over 20 points, man. <laughs> He's hitting this at an 80% clip. Then I'm doubling up and I'm taking him over 12 and a half rebounds. Hitting at another 80% clip. Um, Yeah. 
Right now, I don't know what it is. Maybe Billups is uh, calling plays for DeAndre Ayton and stuff because they're like, hey, these guards don't really know what they're doing. They show up two days, two games. Then next thing you know, they don't know how to score the ball no more. Portland Trailblazers is one of the uh, lower scoring teams in the NBA. But if you get the ball into the big man down low, he can put up some points for you, and it's been showing as of late. So I'm taking him over his point prop and over his rebound prop. Let's slide on over to the ice. All right, man. I'm looking at the Washington Capitals taking on the Toronto Maple Leafs. Who you like? Alex Ovechkin. I'm taking him over three three shots on goal. Whatever his uh, shot goal prop is at, I believe it's at three. If it's at three and a half, that's the same for me, man. Um, Yeah, you seen what he did last game out there. What is it? One goal, two goals, assist? I don't know, man. But Alex Ovechkin is one of the best players in there. Uh, You know, I think he just had another, what, 20 goals uh, season is something that he just accomplished last game out. Confidence going to be running at an all-time high. And just on top of it, that guy's going to be taking the shots on the goal for the team. He's been doing that. Nothing's going to stop. They don't got a new guy in there that's taking a spot or anything like that. Take Alex Ovechkin over shots on goal. All right, it's time for the recap time. We're taking Desmond Bain over 23. Bama Bayer over 18. Bama Bayer over 11 and a half rebounds. Maxi over 28 points. Bradley Bill over 17. DeAndre Aiden over 20 points. DeAndre Aiden over 12 rebounds. Alex Ovechkin over his shots on goal. Mills Young here, part of Pick Dogs. If you can't roll with the Pick Dogs, stay on the porch because we prop shopping. Check out the UFC Bet With Me series. Going to be out on Pick Dogs. And also, check out the fights finish or not go the distance. That's where we're going to be attacking you guys at. And make sure you guys hit the like, hit the subscribe.